In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can develop your own style of playing by copying somebody else's licks. Wait, what? Coming up. Welcome back to the channel, I'm Arjun Ron Kilio. If you're new here, thank you for joining me. All right, let's get down to the nitty gritty. Copying licks to develop your own style sounds counterintuitive, right? But stay with me for the whole video and I'm gonna show you what I mean. It actually makes total sense and I'll show you how easy it is to do no matter what level of playing you're at. You can apply this immediately to licks that you already know or licks that you plan on learning. So the idea behind this lesson was thanks to a few questions and comments I got uh, regarding how I play the way that I play. And after a little bit of analysis of my own playing and looking back at what's influenced me in the past, I realized that a lot of what I play is directly influenced by some lick that I learned in the past, whether it's something that I transcribed or maybe something that I just heard in passing, you know, in a song or something. But my personal interpretation of that phrase and the way that I've molded it into something unique to my voice as a guitarist is what comes out. And I'm gonna show you in basically three steps how I do it. So the idea is pretty simple. You just take a lick that you like to play or that you're learning, preferably like a three to five note phrase, nothing more, nothing less. For instance, let's take this very iconic BB King style intro lick in D. So step one is we're going to play these exact same notes, exact same rhythm, but we're going to alter how we approach or attack the notes. Uh, so we have these notes. So in its most basic form, the notes would be... Some of the ways um, we can alter this uh, is using slides, bends, hammer-ons, pull-offs. I could start it off like this. A lot of times we like to slide up to notes, slide into notes from below, you know? Uh, but something that I like to do is slide down to notes from a higher note. So if you're used to doing something like this, try it like this. And already there, it's a different lick. It's taking on a different uh, persona. Taking, bending a little bit further, we could play it like this. So it's starting to sound a little bit different. So the original BB King style way of playing it. Now we're playing it like this. Another thing that I like to do is incorporate these half-step bends, uh, maybe something like... So I'm hitting that first note with a half-step bend, so I'm starting a half-step below, which gives a different sound than if it was a whole-step bend. It almost has like a slide guitar feel. It's a little more vocal sounding. And on this last note, instead of doing a whole step bend, I'm doing a half step bend. So back to the original. And uh, to this little alteration. It's a little quirky. It's a little more, um, it's a little more tense feeling with these half note bends, right? Uh, we could switch strings, uh, starting on the third string. See, it's got a little mellower sound already, uh, and we could make use of some uh, hammer-ons and pull-offs. Let's see. There's, a, there's one. So instead of just using two adjacent strings, I'm spreading it over three strings. So I got a whole step bend. 
then a half step bend on the end. The idea is to come up with as many different ways of attacking these notes. Whether you need to write these down or record them with your iPhone or whatever, um, kind of making a list of ways that you can play this one phrase. Now, step two uh, is altering the rhythm a little bit. So, if that's the original rhythm, we could extend the uh, duration of notes. We could play anticipated uh, rhythms. One, two, three. Landing right on the downbeat. If we take that rhythm and then do what we did in step one with step two, uh, you know, with one of the phrases that we did. Or. So already step one and step two combined is changing the original lick into something that B.B. King would never play. Now step three is where it can kind of completely change now. This is where we're allowing ourselves to either add or substitute notes. So substituting notes could be as simple as just changing the very last note that you're landing on. You know, I've heard B.B. King play that. That's a little extreme. Um, or maybe something like, you know, instead of playing this uh, sixth note, we're playing the flat seven. Or uh, instead of hitting that major third, we're hitting this minor third. That's cool. To make it minor. Or let's see. Kind of taking it way out there. Uh, so that's basically kind of substituting notes. Obviously we can add more notes to it if we want. To embellish on the original idea, right? I mean, from there you can take it wherever you want to go. Let's take another lick, for example. So, key of A. Another kind of standard blues, jazz blues licks. Real quick, step one, keeping these notes. Which essentially, that's the, the broken down, these are the notes that we're playing, right? Uh, we could do something like this. So I'm bending instead of hammering on. And I'm doing a half step bend on the end. Oh yeah, we can make use of an open string. Ooh, that was cool. Almost has this weird kind of country. Th 
kind of taking extreme half step uh, note bends. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. So now that we've kind of played around uh, with the phrasing, now we'll alter the rhythm. And now we can add and substitute notes. Or So I basically took and kind of evolved it. So that's kind of basically my thought process of coming up with different licks. And I will literally just sit on the couch and this is kind of what I do when I'm noodling. I'm playing, starting with licks that I already know uh, and twisting them and molding them. And that's one of the ways that I develop my own style of playing, which essentially stems from other people's licks. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, click that thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. If you'd like to see more lesson videos like this, gear demos or tone tip tutorials, make sure you click the subscribe button. Thanks again for watching. I'm Arjun Ronquillo, and I'll see you in the next video.